Hi, I'm Gideon King, founder of Novamind, and today I'd like to introduce you to some of the layout features coming in Novamind 5. Now one of the major problems with mind maps is that they get huge pretty quickly, and all of the software that's out there at the moment makes it worse. I've tested just about every piece of mind mapping software out there to see if anyone had a good layout system to avoid the space explosion problem. And do you know what I found? Yes, that's right. None of them have a decent layout system. I'm sure that if you've used any of the mind mapping software currently out there, you've suffered from this problem. But surely this should be the fundamental building block of any mind mapping application, shouldn't it? Here's what it looks like in just about all the other mind mapping software. And this is from one of our competitor's products. And if you've used this product or just about any other software out there, you've experienced exactly this problem. You add some topics and then some subtopics and it pushes all of the other topics out of the way, leaving huge gaps like this. But it gets even worse when you have topics several levels deep and you add subtopics and it pushes everything out like this. Or you add another main topic and it won't go anywhere near the other topic because it just happens to have another subtopic which is so far out of the way that it would never interfere. But you end up with this huge amount of waste space which you just can't use. So we thought that was pretty lame and set about to build something that is much better than that. Here are some of the layout features of Novamind 5. Now this demonstration is done using an alpha version of Novamind, so the controls that you see are likely to change before the release. But as you watch this, you'll get the idea of the benefits of the new Novamind layout system and how far ahead of everyone else it is. So there are four main types of object on your map. Topics, callouts, floating topics and shapes. But today we'll just have a look at topics. One of the core principles that we work to in Novamind 5 is that we should keep everything as compact as possible and avoid that horrible, wasted, unusable space. In Novamind, notice that as we add subtopics here, it doesn't push the other topics out of the way at all until the connection line almost touches and then it only pushes it out of the way by the minimum amount required to keep the topics visually separate. But what happens when we start typing in the topic below? As you can see, when we shorten the topic, the gap is closed up, keeping it to the most compact format possible. And notice that as we type, it moves the topics out of the way, just the minimum amount required. And when you're using oval shaped topics like this, you can see it even more clearly. When you collapse the children topics, all of the topics fall together to be as compact as possible. And when you resize your topic, everything else moves smoothly out of the way. Of course, the other mind mapping software won't even let you resize your topics to the size you want them, but Novamind does, and it handles the resize elegantly. So your mind maps are automatically kept to the minimum size, as compact as possible, without you having to even think about it. Now, one of the things that you said you wanted was the ability to lay out your topics top down in a tree structure. So we've enabled that like this. Now the look of this control is very likely to change before release, but this is the overall functionality. When you click in one of the segments, it will change the orientation of the children to that direction. So you can also go right to left like this, and also bottom up. But we wanted to go further and give you a lot more flexibility in layout. So we added the ability for you to set the angle to whatever angle you want. Now let's show this on a more interesting mind map. Of course this makes the layout of Novamind better than any other mind mapping application available. No one else even comes close to this. But we went even further than this and instead of just having this flexible layout available on the root topic of the mind map, we've also made it available on every topic. So we can arrange the subtopics in whatever direction we want. So we can do things like this. Now this gives you a massive amount of flexibility, more than is available than any other mind mapping program and allows you to lay out your mind maps exactly how you want them. 
So for both the more traditional vertical and horizontal layouts, the layout is more compact than any other mind mapping application and we've added the flexibility of arranging subtopics automatically at any angle and keeping the mind map as compact as possible even when at an angle. But we didn't stop there. We wanted you to have the ultimate flexibility. Although it's fantastic to have that flexibility of layout, there are times when you just want to grab a topic and put it just there, where you want it. But at the same time, we wanted to help you out with avoiding the issues of having topics overlapping each other or moving a topic and then having to move it out of the way if something you do later overlaps with it. So we added the ability for you to drag topics anywhere you want them and still have the program keep control of the topic so they don't overlap. So if we move this topic here, the other topics will stay where you had them and you can put the topic where you want it. And if you try and put a topic on top of another one, the other one is moved out of the way automatically. And if you add another topic that pushes the other ones out of the way, it moves them keeping the same relative positions of it and its parent. And all this just happens automatically, freeing you up from having to worry about overlapping topics ever again. So this is one of the reasons that we're really excited about bringing you NovaMind 5.